Interactive voice and video communication services involves the exchange of real-time audio and images. To transmit voice and video, we need to encode the audio and video into the basic building blocks of modern telecoms, known as binary encoding. At the receiving end, the binary encoding is decoded and transformed back to the audio or video. A codec is an algorithm that defines this encoding and subsequent decoding function. Codec standards have evolved over time. Traditional telephone networks use the G711 codec where bandwidth was plenty, while today cellular voice over LTE networks use AMR codecs to save bandwidth over the air, whereas WebRTC uses Opus to provide better quality over lossy networks with no royalty costs. Similarly, video codecs have also evolved from H.263 to more bandwidth-efficient and more computationally complex codecs such as H.265, VP8, or VP9. Typically, both the sending device and receiving device use the same codec, but more frequently, in today's disparate networks, devices cannot connect properly due to incompatible codecs. The solution is what we call transcoding, which converts the bitstream from one encoding standard to a different encoding standard. Usually, transcoding is performed at network boundaries in media gateways for legacy circuit networks or session border controllers in all IP environments. The problem is that the installed base of media gateways and SBCs were never designed for the latest audio codecs or HD video. As a result, the system session capacity is reduced as the computational requirements to transcode modern codecs increases. This leads to stranded and unused call processing capacity and the need to buy many more SBCs. Radisys offers an alternative approach. This solution is to embrace a decomposed architecture, separating call control functions from transcoding processing, referred to as adjunct transcoding. Transcoding capacity can be added using Media Engine Transcode Resource Function products, a solution specifically designed to support scalable multimedia processing while future-proofing your network. In a back-to-back -back user agent architecture, the Media Engine TRF sits behind the SBCs, applies the additional codec support, and guarantees it is aligned. Then the call is forwarded accordingly. The Media Engine augments the Session Description Protocol, or SDP, information by adding the missing compatible codecs to the negotiation and applies transcoding to the media stream when the call is established. The second approach is known as third-party call control. SBCs forward the call onto the centralized call routing engine, which interprets the SDP information and redirects the media packet stream to the Media Engine TRF to apply transcoding. Enhancing existing SBCs with Media Engine TRF is more economical than adding more SBC boxes, delivering up to 60% reduction in capital and operating costs. Transcoding can be deployed in cloud and NFV architectures with the Radisys Virtualized TRF. Alternatively, the Radisys Media Engine TRF-12000 is the optimum solution for high scalability or complex transcoding requirements. Transcoding is a growing network requirement while increasing in complexity. Today's transcoding solutions are no longer offering the economics and flexibility demanded by modern communication services. Adjunct transcoding, based on Media Engine TRF solutions, offers the economics, scalability, and flexibility to drive costs out of your network today, while preparing your network for the future. To learn more, contact Radisys.